I get to work with uh, really some of the finest, most dedicated, most uh, creative people I've ever known. My name is Gerd Wustemann. I'm the executive director of the Acadena Center for the Arts and the Acadena Arts Council. This uh, organization, the Arts Council, as the uh, managerial arm of the Acadena Center for the Arts, has so many facets and touches so many people every year and has touched everybody's lives in this community for so long. It's really remarkable to see from the inside uh, what it all is that, that uh, we entail. This is Bree Sargent. And this is Renee Roberts. And together we are the Education Department of the Acadiana Center for the Arts. We have a really good team of artists that we work with and they're extremely dedicated to what they do. And when you get, when you walk into the classroom and you see these kids working with these artists and succeeding at something, it's just really powerful. And every, every time we go, oh, I can't do this anymore, we get a letter from One a kid. One of those moments. Yeah, and One then we cry. Moments. We are lucky in that there's so much flexibility in what we do. There's some mm -hmm. things we have to do on a regular basis to keep programs going, but we also can create programs and we can create new experiences and opportunities within the programs. So we work with people with great ideas. Like and, you. Yeah, oh, <laughs> like me. Hi, I'm Gwen Richard. I'm the Community Development Director for the Acadiana Arts Council, Acadiana Center for the Arts. My job is to administer arts grants throughout Acadiana, which encompasses eight parishes. It's very rewarding because not only do I bear the gifts of dollars and cents, but I have um, in my briefcase technical support tools that will help the public to be able to write better grants. It's a way that the development portion of my job is very fulfilling to me. I'm Rose Corville. I am the curator of exhibitions at the ACA and I am also the event coordinator for the organization. I like working with the artists. I think that's an um, answer you'll find from most of our staff. They are the reason we come to work every single day. Everything we do, we do in service for them, to promote their art, to promote themselves, um, to give our community access to them and their art. I'm Todd Mouton and I work with Louisiana Crossroads and also Louisiana Folk Roots. We do a lot of music and culture-based programs. We spend a lot of time uh, discussing issues with artists and audience members and uh, putting on educational workshops. My name is Marcia Engelbrett. I work with Louisiana Folk Roots and Todd Mouton, and there are three others of us in the Folk Roots office here at the Acadiana Center for the Arts. We are a nonprofit organization, uh, and our mission is to preserve and to share uh, all many manifestations of the cultural heritage of Louisiana. With the Louisiana Crossroads Project, uh, we're a concert series, we are a record label, and we're also an economic development initiative. We're very interested in uh, creating jobs and opportunities for uh, individuals involved in every aspect of uh, music and culture and its presentation and its perpetuation. And with Louisiana Folk Roots, we present a summer camp for kids. We present uh, camp uh, out in Chico State Park for a week for people from all over the world uh, to learn Cajun and Creole music. And we work uh, with lots of other organizations and collaborate often to uh, create joint projects that really uh, bring together different aspects of our cultures and again hope to uh, sort of preserve and perpetuate them in the process. Well, my name is Dr. Vincent Mahalik. I'm the uh, president-elect, incoming president of the board for the Arts Council. And uh, all I can say is it is a dynamic, moving, any superlative that you can uh, place on an organization. The uh, Arts Council and the Center for the Arts fits the bill. Hi, I'm Johanna Villarreal. I'm the Marketing Public Relations Coordinator for Acadiana Center for the Arts. Hi, my name is Sarah Moss and I'm the Development Director of the Acadiana Center for the Arts. With my Marketing and Public Relations role, my main thing is communicating, whether that be with our various publics, which is visitors, potential visitors, membership, or the media. 
I've had the pleasure of working at the center for the past three years, and every morning I wake up and I come to work loving what I do because I know that I help to contribute to the quality of life in Acadiana. We have health fairs, we have health education sessions, we have opportunities for our cultural workers, which by the way, cultural workers encompass film, design, music, visual arts, theatrical, performing arts, historic preservation, and culinary. I uh, came into a situation that uh, was faced with some challenges, but uh, incredible opportunities, because uh, one of the things that's been moving for a number of years for us has been a phase two of this pending building. Um, in 2000-2001 when we renovated the, the old existing uh, bank building here to uh, make a gallery out of it and uh, these offices up here, um, there was a plan, a provision for phase two of a building that was supposed to start six months later to uh, finish the center out with a performing arts uh, component, a 300 seat theater, state of the art. Um, then of course two storms hit Louisiana and the whole game changed. All of a sudden we weren't able to do this anymore because the uh, cost of construction skyrocketed, there were other priorities obviously. And uh, so here we are four years later without uh, a completed project and finally we're in a position where we're uh, looking forward to going to groundbreaking again this fall. To become a member or to learn more information about the Acadiana Center for the Arts, please visit our website www.acadianacenterforthearts.org.